16 of the world's best players are here in Coventry, in the heart of England, for the Champion of Champions tournament. Each one is here through winning a ranking event. Each one is here to prove that they are the best of the best. The field has been divided into four groups of four. Each group plays down to a winner. The four winners contest the semi-finals. Two players, Neil Robertson and Mark Allen, have emerged from their respective groups. Now it's the turn of Group 2. Judd Trump opened with a comfortable win over Stephen Maguire. And coming up now, the clash between Teb Chaya Anu and last year's beaten finalist, Kyron Wilson. In the opening frame, a break of 62 set Kyron Wilson on his way. Kyron Wilson, 62, and the break. In the second, Wilson needed two snookers, but luck eluded him, and Unu stepped in to take the frame and level the score. This is now the third commentary from Clive Everton and Neil Foltz. Best of seven here at the Champion of Champions. Frame it's three. One all between and New to break. Karen Wilson and Thepchire and New. It is a very interesting matchup, and I'm glad they've shared the first two frames because it really is quite difficult right now to decide who will win out of these two. Thepchire and New is, I think, playing better than he's ever played the last year or so. The talent starting to come together. That's a misjudgment. Foul and a miss. Tepchar new six. And who doesn't bother about having the cue ball replaced because he assumes that Wilson would get it right second time because he got such a big target on the left hand side of the pack. Yeah, that's true, Clive, but he had a big target on the last go as well, didn't he? He sometimes can pick up a few points that way. I thought he'd put him back in. Well, there was nothing to be lost by putting him back in anyway. He's somebody, I think, just wants to move the game on. <laughs> I really believe that. I mean, going back briefly to the final against Judd Trump at the weekend when he had the third shot out of a snooker and he was told he had to hit one, he still played the same shot around two cushions. Didn't make contact, frame over. I think there's only one ball potted. Just likes to get the game moving. It's a nice shot, the way he's played that, swinging the cue ball around the angles. He has left access to the left-hand red. And he's almost forced Kyron into going for this. Well, he's sizing up the potting angle, so... Playing the... The right hand red of the two, I think. Well, he's played safe, goodness me. That was a small gap to go through there. find that quite revealing those last two shots. I can see if Kyron has gone for a lot ready to got it, but 
He doesn't want to wait around for Tepchai to give him chances because he might find himself getting buried. This boy is a terrific scorer. And sometimes you don't just try and keep them quiet. You have to just score before they do. Hey. I think that safety shot Kyron played there was as difficult as the pot. Sixteen. Seventeen. Wanted to take the red, the cue ball rather, just a little bit further through off the second red. This is missable. Struggled in. 24. It was heading towards the pocket slow enough for the uh, ball to drop, wasn't it? Yes, there's a rounded edge to the pocket. And if you can get the cue ball to hover on that, it often drops in. As much as he'd like to keep this break going, I think he knows it's time to run away back to the bulk area. Tab Chai a new 24. Playing a good match so far, Tab Chai, isn't he? He's matching Kyron in, in most departments, in some ways even going a little bit further than that. Yes, for all your potting and break building ability, you do need a tactical game as well. And Thepchar and New has acquired one in the last couple of seasons. That's a good effort. Shots, these big shots. If he was a cricketer, he wouldn't be a blocker, that's for sure. Eight. Nine. We go out and play every shot in the book. Fourteen. Fifteen. Even that shot just nudging out a couple of reds. Lovely rhythm about his game. Twenty-one. He's got a naturally elegant style. Twenty-two. Paul Collier's got to be on his toes here, hasn't he? He's got to keep up with him. 28. 29. The other thing, Clive, financially, I don't think it's been easy for him until the last year when he's picked 35. up very decent money out of snooker 32,000 for winning the shootout but 75,000 for 
36. Being run up at the weekend, he's got to boost everything for him. His confidence, his outlook. You can really enjoy what you're doing when you've not got those kind of worries behind you. 42. He did manage to get over the £100,000 mark for the season. Last season for the first 43. time. 43. There's another frame that has gone pretty quickly. Buying snookers, of course. 40. kind of broke the rules there, didn't he? You're meant to start again if you don't like something. He didn't really get up and go through the shot 50. again. He just quickly adapted. 51. It's not really crash bang wallop, is it, with him? He's uh, played some classy shots here. The frame is one very quickly. Tap try a new 51 on the frame. Two and a half minutes for that 51 break. And now he's a try on new to lead Karen Wilson by two frames to one. <laughs> Thailand's Lep Charon New clinched the second frame with a break of 63, the third frame with one of 51, and thus leads Karen Wilson by two frames to one. Okay. in this best of seven frames encounter. Thank you, frame four. Kyron Wilson to break. He'll be glad to cover that red that he sent past the middle pocket. I don't think he has. No, his reaction tells me that this is on. The gap is quite big, I think, between green and brown, Clive, to that red. So at the moment, he's trying to tie Jep Dyer up in knots, but he's not doing so. It's not an easy one, though, queuing down on the ball. Awkward shot. Now, Kyron with an opportunity. One that he needs to make really happen, I think, is to punish his opponent, get him thinking. This game, you can play all the safety in the world, all the the shots which gets your opponent in trouble, but ultimately it always comes down to the same thing. You know, you've got to score when your chances come. That's what really hurts an opponent. Very little else does. Seven. Not his best positional shot, though. Six. 
So he hasn't hurt him there with that unless he somehow keeps the break going. The pink is straight to far corner, but with such awkward queuing. Green ball. I'd be amazed if he took that on. Kyra Wilson, seven. Well, they'd be disappointed not to have scored, but at least he's done all he can with the cue ball. He hid it underneath that bolt cushion. No one likes playing shots from where Carlin's left. Tap Chai, this one. Wilson is already under pressure in this comparatively short match. Best of seven. If he doesn't win this frame, he'll be two down with three to play. Well, he's on one here. Well, he's unlucky there. I mean, Tup Char actually Tup -Char looked at the, full. the black end of the table and was happy to leave that red. Kyron Wilson is very unlucky to pop that and go in off the other red. And the other red stays in, in the bulk area as well. It's, it's doubly annoying, doubly painful. One. Well, he could be away here, and, you know, it's one of those in five minutes, this frame could be gone as well. Five. I remember playing Tony Drago a few times, Clive, right in his prime of being so quick, and you'd make a mistake, and before you'd actually got back to your chair, he'd potted about three or four balls. And then you're walking back, you could hear all the balls being potted as you wasn't even watching. Six. That's opened up the area around the black spot. 13. Fourteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Yeah, it's played that well off, just off the <coughs> one cushion. Didn't swing the cue ball around the angles. He's just off straight on this. You see what he's got. He had a little bit more angle. He could screw him behind those two reds to the right corner. He's not. Well, he has forced it across. That's a good shot. There wasn't much to play with there. 27. And his very quick snooker brain will be looking to get the cue ball into the f five reds here. Uh, he didn't catch them quite right. He still has one down the cushion. 35. 36. Knowing the way he plays, you'll go into them again. 36. He's just not frightened of playing all the shots, is he? Terrific to watch. Well, that was definitely the shot because the back red was already loose. 43. So it was basically a free shot to open the bunch. 
44. On run through. Fifty one. Fifty two. Going four minutes in this break, and he's almost there. All can happen very quickly. The match can slip away from a player playing someone as quick as this in the, literally the blink of an eye. Blink of an eye. His average Six. shot time for the match is only 16 seconds. And already he secured 66. his frame with his third half century of the afternoon. 67. He may develop it into a century. I think what's good about this, I mean, we're all snooker neutral. We don't 74. really mind who wins. But what you do like to see is such a talent becoming fulfilled. And I think we're seeing that at the moment. Everyone knows he's a good player, but he doesn't always win. 82. 83. 88. 90. And New clinched the last two frames with breaks of 63 and 51. 90. He's clinched this one. Right. And New 90. The break of 90. And so leads by. Three frames to one. Two up with three to play. Welcome back to Coventry and the Champion of Champions tournament. This is the second match in Group 2. Trump has already qualified for the playoff. Tepchaya Anu is now playing Kyron Wilson. Anu made an uncharacteristic mistake in the fourth when faced with an easy red. Wilson got back to the table and is now on a break of 68. Commentary comes from Clive Everton and Neil Folds. Seventy-five. And of course, Kyron Wilson was two up with three to play when he played Tepchaya at the weekend in New Shan. Only for Tepchaya to reel off the last three. Karen's got to do the same here. 77. A clearance would give him a century. It would be the 185th of his career. 80. Eighty-nine. This is just what the match situation demanded. Ninety-five. Three one down before that. Clearance of 102 has reduced his arrears to 3 2. Thepchire's 3 1 lead over Karen Wilson has been reduced to 3 2 as he tries to clinch a place in tonight's group final against Judd Trump, who he led. 7-4 in the first round at the Crucible last season. Trump got home 
10-9 and went on to win the championship. Okay. Frame six, Kyron Wilson to break. Yes, it's turned into an interesting match now, isn't it, with Kyron just coming back. Didn't mean to just flick the blue there on the way through on that break-off shot, but it's not actually made a great deal of difference to the shot. Has left this chance, though. Well, just marginally hit wow. the wrong side of it. This match is just starting to turn around. Four. This is the point. He had a chance to win the match 4-1. Got in first. Kyron wasn't queuing. Slightly hit the wrong side of that, and he's done a lot of damage. I wonder if Unnu is dwelling on that mistake. It's not so bad if your 3-1 lead becomes 3-2, but if you've had a chance to actually win the match, that's a little bit different. Well, yes, Clive, after leaving that uh, central... Karen making a century didn't really want to gift him an early chance already in the next frame. It's the one thing he didn't need to happen. Six. Seven. <coughs> uh, he wants to be either straight or well. just slightly low on this red so he can run through on the black into the opposite corner he hasn't got that angle may just look at the red to the left middle instead there you see it's not perfect to get on anything Thirteen. Well, this time he's quite straight on a red. He can run through, 18. I believe. Nineteen. Twenty-six. Well... He could be better on a red than he's turned out to be. Plays that left hand red, his cue heading up the table. Just lost control of this a, a tiny bit. Nice shot to avoid all the ball colours. Leave himself on choice of colour.
two reds 32. are a plant that could be useful. The plant has to be made, but not by much, and it's short range. 33. So this is looking very promising for Wilson. Could be on the way to three all. Forty. Forty one. Red, but he's got to take it quite seriously along the cushion. He'll play it slowly. And fancy him for it, especially if the red is touching the cushion, which I think it is. Well, <laughs> just going kind of away from the, the cushion a fraction, but still dropped. into a very good match actually 56. the way that uh, Tep Chaya played winning three frames very quickly and all credit to Kyron Wilson he's battling back <coughs> 57 the result of this match could supply a mirror image and new beat Wilson in Yushan last week in the semi final. And two down with three to play. Wilson could win this match from two down with three to play. He's well on the way to three all. Sixty four. Sixty five. This knowledgeable crowd appreciate that that was frame ball barring snookers. Not that Unnu is going to have the chance to play for them. Seventy. 71. High standard of break making in this match. Wilson 62 clinched the first frame. And we had a trio of frame clinches from Unnu 63, 51, and 90. 78. Wilson made a century in the last frame, 102. And he could 83. make another here. Eighty four. Ninety one. Ninety two. Well, he's got a slight angle here. He could just play in behind the red rather than play to cannon it. And that's what he's done. I don't blame him. He's a good rest player, Karen Wilson, always has been. 
Still not the easiest of shots, but... 98. The shot he was happy to leave himself with. Carl Wilson, Wilson 98 on the front. With the great of 102 and 98. He's equalised at three all and left everything depending on the seventh frame decider. The deciding frame okay. then. The deciding frame. Ted Child new to break. The winner plays Judd Trump over 11 frames with a place in the semi-finals at stake. Not a good break off from Unnu. No, weak in, in speed, but I think it's because he hit the bottom red as thick as you could, in fact. It really caught a lot of it. So, it's always a little different in the decider. We've seen Kyron scoring freely in the last two frames, but it doesn't always mean that he's going to do it again here in the frame that he needs to win the match. Well, the big question here is, does the red above the black go? Tip Chai having a look at it. Even though position wouldn't have been guaranteed, I think he would have played it if it had been potable. running a bit loose there. Tep Chai was looking at the line of the shot before the balls had even stopped rolling. Now, this is an important shot that he's got here. Oh, very good. Very cool and unquestionably doing damage. And he missed. It's a good part. Now, how's he going to approach this? Sometimes you just need to just take a little bit extra time. Three. Just to compose yourself. And in the case of Tep Chai, it Four. will literally be a split second longer, perhaps. Spent two frames just watching Kyron pop balls. So his natural rhythm might not be quite there. Eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. That's a good shot to play on the blue, not on its spot. <laughs> well, he looked at that red on the black, and it looks like it was. I thought it was quite tight as to whether it went, but I think, as Clive rightly says, I think if it had gone, he's already played it on that previous visit. I think it's in the way the black, but that might prove to be the key to this whole frame. That red. Now I can bring it into play. 19. He's a very good player around the black spot. I feel that he's just skirting around the issue of getting to the big colours in this frame.
20. Twenty-three. Well, there's your big shot now. He looks like he's playing on the black. So one of those two had 24. to go, and it's the black which goes. Will he move the red away? Probably. And you see an example of why he's such a good player. <laughs> Tip thinker never refuses to play the big shot at the big moment. Thirty-one. And of course, the 32. right shot, same thing. I wasn't interested in, in accumulating 40 or 50 by taking lower value colours. <coughs> 39. Sure. The quality a professional needs is the ability to rise to the challenge when you've been kept out for a long time. He's only just got 45. there and he got covered in behind that other red on the one he wants to pop. That was close. 46. Prior to this break, and who hadn't potted a ball for 20 minutes. Yes, yeah, so and on that basis, anything you can get when a chance comes your way has to be... 53. ...taken very seriously. This is a good break. Fifty-four. Now he's where he likes to be, around the black spot. Still got to finish the job off. I think he's a signs here how much better a player he is than he, once he was. Sixty-one. And he's done it. He's won the match. Sixty-three. Which I don't know, but Karen Wilson will get the chance for even attempt. In the past, we saw glimpses of what he can do. We're seeing more sustained periods of, the kind of snooker that Chara knew is capable of playing. Oh, that rolled off, I think. That seemed to drop down. Tab I thought it was in when 69. he hit it. Well, he should be in that, nonetheless. That 69 break. Leaves Wilson needing snookers. One. He came to the table with only 59 still on. Eight. Oh, I thought Aaron the was impossible to miss. Frank conceded frame in the match. So, really entertaining match, very high quality. And Moore arrived at 3 1 with a break of 90. Wilson equalised at 3 all with runs of 102 and 98. But in the deciding frame, that Charon News 69 break proved enough to prevail by four frames to three. It's Tep Chaya Unu who is through to face Judd Trump in the Group 2 playoff at the Manbet X Champion of Champions 2019.